Hi everyone, this is Lizard, and today I'll be teaching you how to do a demon voice sound effect in Audacity. First things first, we need to have something recorded, and I've gone ahead and prepared something. Fool, no mortal shall ever be able to stand up to the might of a demon. Now, I know that sounds cringy now, but at the end it will sound great, trust me. Now, you might notice that I have a couple seconds of audio that's completely silent at the beginning. This is important to help remove the background noise pollution, and to do that, what we do is we select part of our silent track, and we go to Effect, Noise Reduction. Hit the Get Noise Profile button, and then select the entire track by either double-clicking this panel or hitting Control or Command A. Then, either hit Repeat Noise Reduction here, or if you want to mess with the settings, go back to Effect Noise Reduction and mess with these settings. I have the Noise Reduction set to 24 and the Sensitivity at 8. Hit OK. That will help reduce the amount of noise that's in your audio. And now, we want to make it a little bit more crisp. So keeping the track selected, we want to go to Effect Equalization, and under Select Curve, we want to choose Bass Boost. Hit OK. Then go back to Effect and back to Equalization and change from Bass Boost to Treble Boost. OK. Two final things to make it a little bit more crisp. Go to Effect Normalize. Make sure your settings match these, and hit OK. Then, to make sure that our audio peaks aren't going too high, we go to Effect, Hard Limiter. Set your dB limit to about 3. You can play around with it, but I prefer about negative 3. So apply that, and it will cut off your peaks at the decibel limit you set. Now it's time to actually add the effects, and the first thing you want to do is duplicate the track. You can do this by selecting the track and hitting Control or Command D. Now that we have our second track, we want to mess with the pitch. For the first track, if you used a deeper voice that you're fine with, then pitch adjustment might not be necessary, but you can still do it if you want. And to change the pitch, you just select your track and you go to Effect, Change Pitch. Now this screen looks pretty confusing, but you can ignore all of this up here and you can ignore this part. All you're interested in, in it is the percent change. If you have a higher pitched voice, I recommend changing it to about negative 10 or negative 15. You can play around with it to see what's right for your voice and what you think sounds best. I don't think my first track needs pitched adjustment, so I'm not going to adjust it. Once we're done with the first track, we select the second and do the same. Effect, change pitch. Now, if you changed your pitch by about 10 or 15 for the first track, you want to change the pitch for this one by about 15 to 20. If you used a deeper voice like me, I typically only change it by about negative 10. Now that our pitch is changed, we can add more effects. And this is where we have a small difference in the effect settings, but it's nothing big. It's easy to go over. So keep your second track selected and then go to Effect, Reverb. Now, you have these set, I believe these are the default settings, so these should be the settings you have if you have never touched the reverb setting. Now, if you have a slower speaking character similar to what I did, you want these default settings. So, you apply that setting with OK. But if you used a more decently normal paced or faster paced voice, you want to use settings like this. The room size is 35, 
the pre-delay is zero, the reverberance is 55, the damping is 99, the tone low is 50, the tone high is 100, the wet and dry gain are negative one, and the stereo width is 70. Apply your settings, and then go to Effect, Reverse. Now, go back to Effect, Reverb, and you want to use the settings where the room size is 75. Finally, finish it off by hitting the Reverse button one more time, and we're done. So let's give it a listen. Fool, no mortal shall ever be able to stand up to the might of a demon. Like I said, in my opinion, that sounds much, much better than the cringy sounding thing we started with. And that's going to finish off the tutorial for the demon voice, and I'd like to thank you for watching, and enjoy being a demon.